Hello, Darren Martineau from ProMagicArt.com is back to show you some more magic. Okay, I have some cards here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a card uh, selected. Okay, out of these uh, cards here, <clears throat> and uh, just shuffle them up a little bit, have them mixed, and uh, just going to mix them up. I want you to say stop at any time. So, say so it said stop there. So they stop me right here. So this will be the card. Okay. Now, uh, King of Clubs. Okay. Place it in here. Now, give the cards some cuts. Okay. Okay, and uh, some more cuts. Now, this is like a lie detector. Oh, you can lie or tell the truth. So let's say, for example, your card was uh, five, F-I-V-E, okay, five of, O-F, okay, and say hearts, H-E-A-R-T-S, okay. Now, did you lie or tell the truth? Let's say you lied. L-I-E-D. You lied. Now look, there's your card. Now I knew you were going to select the King of Clubs. Because see on the back, it says you will select this card. And that's because look, on the back of all these cards, we have mirrors, pride and joy. Every single card is different. Isn't that amazing? Now I'm going to show you this. This is my variation of Jim Steinmeier's lie detector. And I've, I've got some really cool ideas in here. So what you do is you get yourself uh, nine different nine different cards with different backs on them. Okay? And I use a red card and with a marker I, I put on the force card, you will select this card. Okay? So it'll be on the can clubs. Now there's many different ways you can do forces and things like that. What you're going to do is you're going to do uh, a packet switch. So the packet switch is really simple, okay? And there's lots of different packet switches. Uh, I'm just going to show a jinx switch. So on this, let's say that uh, <clears throat> the force is going to be, uh, we'll get to the force in a minute. Okay, but we're going to have the uh, the king of clubs will be in here. So you have nine different cards. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different backs. On the one force card you put, you will select this card. Now there's many different ways to force that, which we'll show in a minute. For this, I'm using the pluma cards, so I'm going to have this on the bottom with a break. Okay. You can bring this in into play many different ways. This could be in your pocket, usually, in your jacket pocket. So all you have to do is when you put like the box away, you can come out with this, load it to the bottom of the deck, like a cup and ball load type movement, holding a break on the nine card packet. You then, you previously were doing some effects. Uh, you deal down nine cards. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And <clears throat> ideally, you want to use the same cards that you're using that you switch for, but you don't really have to. The main thing is you're having them look at the backs. You're having them examine the cards. After they do that, you do a jinx switch. Okay, a jinx switch is you're going to be holding the break on the nine cards, and you're going to switch this for this as you set the deck away. Okay, so now you're left with this. So you're not showing the backs, now you're going to show the faces, and you're going to do a force. Uh, the force I used was a shuffle force, and as I was shuffling them, I just kind of shuffled it until I got the king to the, uh, the back. And then I'm just doing a slip shuffle here, so the force card's on the back. I keep doing a, I keep doing a slip shuffle, and obviously I just show the faces. And then when I'm ready to do the force, I just went like this, did the milk shuffle, which is taking the bottom and top cards, and then I just said, go ahead and say stop. And they stopped, I took the bottommost card. So that's one force. There are many better forces you can do. Um, you could do 
a uh, classic force, which you have them hold out their finger and you just classic force. And if they miss it, you say, okay, select again. Um, another force you can do would be to uh, set down the cards and have them name a number. Uh, <clears throat> and then you go into like an equivocate thing. So basically, you just kind of separate them into two piles. You have them pick up their hand, and if they go like this, okay, let's say they pick up their hand, then you take this one. If they pick up their hand, whichever one, you do the equivalent, okay. Now you, you, you lay down these cards, okay, and you would make it so there'd be six cards there. And then what you would do is you would go into a really simple force, which I'll show you now. And that is the hot rod force. So you're going to have six cards here left and you're going to just uh, have the force card here if they name one you're going to spell O-N-E, okay that will be your card two, T-W-O, three, one, two, three four you're going to count from the other side one, two, three, four um, five you're going to spell F-I-V-E and if they name six, S-I-X so you can do any kind of force, there's tons of forces um, you could just do it like I said a face-up classic force and to do that, all you would do is uh, spread through the cards and then hold a pinky break on the king. And then you tell them to just point to a card, not select a card, just hold out their finger. And basically, you just place this under their finger, but not obviously. You know, you just say, just touch one. You're not saying select one. So you can do the classic force. So there's many different forces you can do. Anyway, you get to the point. You then uh, shuffle. Then after you shuffle, uh, you're going to look at the order of where it is and you're going to kind of shuffle it so that you're going to get it so that it's uh, in the position of third from the top. And it's real easy. All you do is kind of cut to it and kind of mix to it. Then you're going to hand the cards to them. Okay, Face up they're going to deal. Now it's in the third position so you're going to see where it goes. So you tell them they can lie or tell the truth. It's a lie detector. Okay, So let's say they said five. You're going to spell F-I-V-E. Okay? Now that's still going to remain their cards. It's going to be there. Okay? O-F is the two cards which will put it in the middle. Now this is a principle of Jim Steinmeier where you're going to have four cards on the top and four cards on the bottom. Force card, the king of clubs being right in the middle. Okay? So now they can spell club heart, spade, or diamond. With clubs is spelled with an S. So if they lie or whatever. <clears throat> okay, or tell the truth. Let's say uh, clubs. C L U B S. Okay. Now you get to the point. The very last question you ask them when you have four cards on the top and bottom, when you're in the self-working position, this is a self-working effect. If they say they lied, you have them spell one card for each letter. It's L I E D. Putting this on top, coming to their card. And if they said uh, truth. You spell truth. T R U T H. Now we'll appear right there. Now here's what you do. You show, I knew you're going to select this card, and they'll say no way. And then you show the back has written, you will select this card. And then they're going to think, oh, it's on all the cards. And you say, no, every single card is a different, has a different back on all these cards. That's how I know it is not a lie. I knew you were going to select that card. So I hope you enjoy that. That's my variation of the lie detector. Hi, Darren Martineau here, and welcome to Pro Magic Art. And this is a uh, online master magic course, and this is for anyone, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced magician. And what it is, is it's um, all of my original creations and uh, my system called the Cerulean System, um, over 35 years in the art of magic. Um, I have the beginner level. For $5 a month, you can get access to um, over 150 videos, plus every month there's new videos added. And that is for beginners to help you get started. That's the bronze level. Okay, $5 a month. Then I have the platinum level. The platinum level you get access to over 400 
magic videos and tutorials and this is for anyone whether you're beginner intermediate or advanced magician okay then I have the gold level the gold level is uh, $97 for the first year and you get access to uh, over 400 uh, magic videos and tutorials in there now I have the new diamond level the Cerulean system diamond level is $27 a month and you get access to over 500 plus of magic videos and tutorials plus videos added every month in all the le in all the levels there's videos added every month and tutorials so join today to become a master magician